thanks so much. I appreciate that. It is good to be back home uh, stateside with everybody. And uh, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I do want to try to help uh, Jay make up some time here. But thank you so very much. Great to go and uh, see you guys as well. Thank you. So right now, um, let's get uh, into this here. The uh, just a couple of reminders though, trade does involve risk, not just reward. Um, you know, take, take a screenshot of this. I think uh, Jeanette's doing the best she can to record this. You can uh, read this more for yourself later. Also, you know, hypothetical results. You know, if we talk about something hypothetical, you ask me about how I'd handle this situation or that situation into the future, uh, that's hypothetical. That's why I like to talk about what I actually am doing, what, what I have just done, like these trading competitions over in Europe and stuff like that. You know, real money, real results, real issues. Um, so, but just from hypothetical stuff, it's just that hypothetical and risky there. So, what what we uh, if you trade stocks, options, futures, or forex, uh, and you day and swing or swing trade, then this presentation is going to be really for you. Um, and uh, if you're you know strictly a super long term investor only, this this presentation probably won't be uh, for you. But anybody who's more active with their portfolios, day traders, swing traders, stocks, options, futures, forex, this is for you. Um, so, as we, you know, my name is Rob Hoffman, become our trader there and. Uh, proud to see that number go up a little bit here recently with uh, winning two more of those trading competitions. Um, written a lot of articles. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the strategies uh, that have gone into some of these articles uh, today here. Um, but this is the real reason uh, why we want to be here from my perspective. Uh, you know, we're talking about real money. I just won my 10th and 11th international trading competitions there, um, you know, physical on-site competitions. So pretty excited about that. Um, so that's about 27 in total, 16 domestic 11 international um and uh you know so a lot of people talk about trading and uh, not as many of us put our money out there so in summary i really trade and that's important because having a sim account or not showing your trades that's not live trading for you guys gang you risk your real money while you know educators that uh, don't necessarily uh, put it out there so i put it out there but i do want to start off with a, a key thought here if i'd known back in the 90s what i know now my life would have been infinitely better, faster, and with way less heartache. And with that in mind, I really like to go ahead and uh, uh, you know share some of the concepts that I'm using here. We'll go into uh, we'll do a deeper and deeper and deeper dive as the minutes go along. So here's a little bit about how I made some of the trading fun again. What we call the meet and middle uh, trades from uh, Champion Subs. That's one of the foundational tools uh, that I use in my trading arsenal. So let's talk about what we'll first what we call the momentum shift with trend the momentum shift with trend. Um, what this is, it's a price pattern setup used to identify resumptions back into a trend, okay? So I'm gonna also show you how to use some strategies in non-trending markets in a few minutes as well. So, um, you know, we're gonna do a, a whole bunch of different things here. Uh, when do I use it? It's in trending markets. Where is the entry? It's the close of the setup bar, that's gonna be key. Where is my exit? It's a trailing stop or the next key support resistance level. We're gonna talk about that as well. And where's the, the uh, stop loss, which is typically a slow bleed back beyond the 20 period exponential moving average or slow speed lines based on your risk tolerance. 20 period exponential moving average gives you more chance uh, or more uh, room to grow, but also a tighter, uh, you know, wider stops. The uh, speed lines keeps it pretty close to the best. Key points to remember as I get ready to show you these tools, know your entries, targets, and stop loss limits before you enter the trade. Unfortunately, we never get smarter once we get in the trade. And uh, uh, so with that being said, follow your risk trading plan uh, to the T. Okay, uh, so let's talk about uh, some uh, real life examples of this in action. So what we're looking at here on the chart, um, we're gonna talk about those momentum shift with trends. I'm gonna break this down. I'm just gonna show you the last couple of days live trading room uh, activity here and one of the tra trading competitions that I did here uh, a week ago in Italy. So what we have here, these momentum shift with trends, the uh, with trend ones are gonna have little arrows on the bottom sides of them, okay? And so what these are is a short-term pullback. So we have an uptrend in place and we have a little pullback. Now, these little pullbacks, what they do, they shake the spirit of a retail trader. How many times have you guys been here, right? Um, it, it's what's, you know, Saturday morning here. Uh, how many of you have actually, um, you know, been in a situation just this past week where you thought about taking the trade because boy there were some good ones here
here in the last week. Now, this was from the week before during the trading competition, but I'll show you the, the last two days. There were some great shorts in the last two days, but then the markets would pull back up. And how many of you didn't take a trade only to wish you had because the market went right back down again? In fact, let's just kind of flip right over here. Take a look. This was Thursday in, the, in, in my live trading room, and the market went ahead and pushed down, pulled back up, and spooked a lot of people out of trades only to go right back down again. So this is a, um, uh, you know, a kind of a important factor I want you guys to remember. So with that being said, I'm trying to identify those short-term pullbacks where it pulls back enough uh, to trigger these momentum shifts. And then what I'm looking for is the market to say, ha, gotcha, um, and then push back in the direction of the trend. So the entry on these trades is at the uh, close of these bars where in an uptrend, we have an uh, arrow underneath, okay? So any of these trades here that you see, these are entries at the close of those bars, all right? Now, the um, uh, then from there, let's go ahead and this, this is, so you can see here during the trading competition, what way do you guys think I was trading in the trading competition over in um, uh, Europe there a week ago? So I was trading the DAX. Do you think I was long or do you think I was short? just based on this one little tool that we just talked about here. Absolutely long. That's right. I do not like counter trend trading. I like trading with the trend. So let's go ahead and look at uh, then the, the last couple of days on different time frames because uh, time frames because people sometimes say, well, that's great, Rob. You know, what about you know different time frames? Well, so here we have uh, you know a, a kind of a multi day focus from the 19th all the way through the 20th, uh, and this is a 15 minute chart. So it's the same kind of thing that we're looking for. As you can see, a momentum shift with trying to look at these short term pullbacks against the trend, and then I'm looking looking for resumption where these little arrows trigger off on the bottom uh, side of this going back into the direction of the trend. All right, these are called momentum shift with trends, all right? Uh, you see now in trading the last two days. Do you think I was going long or short the last two days based on these indicators? This is a momentum shift with trend to the downside, momentum shift with trend to the downside, momentum shift with trend to the downside. What way do you think I was trading live on the screen in front of my student family? Absolutely focusing on short, exactly. So the, uh, so the bottom line is these momentum shifts help identify these short-term pullbacks against the predominant trend and then looking for resumptions, okay? Uh, that was Thursday, then this was Friday. It's Friday, same thing. Do you think I was long or do you think I was short? absolutely focusing on short side trades okay so let's talk before i move on to a couple different other strategies and tie all this together um talk about the trailing stop methodology i want you to think in terms of 50 80 90 price because we all battle with the do i keep my stop wide and try to make a bunch of money or what most of us find we do we keep the stop wide and then we have a profit on the board only to turn around and give back that profit and in several cases actually turn it into a loss. So, um, you know, think about it in terms of uh, 50, 80, 90 price. And in fact, this is a very personal story for me because, you know, one of my largest loss, or actually my largest loss in my trading career was a result of something I actually had a profit on the board, uh, but I wanted a few thousand dollars more profit before I went ahead, moved up my stop, and then the market broke out with news and uh, tanked the market. Um, and so had I had my trailing stop in there, uh, I would have come out smelling like roses. So, you know, this is something I developed many years ago after that. So 50, 80, 90 price, okay? It, it's designed to preserve a percent of the profits, but allowing to trade a certain amount of room to reach the target, all right? So with that being said, what I want to do is set a target out into space, you know, as I'm, I'm getting ready to trade. A couple of key ones I use, daily, weekly, monthly, monthly pivot points. That's a classic trader, uh, floor trader pivot uh, formula, by the way. Um, that one works best from my perspective. Uh, also, the 50-day, uh, 200-day moving averages can be really great target points as well, uh, both off of daily charts, that's where I usually use those, uh, but on an intraday basis as well. A 
200 uh, two minute chart, 200 uh, period five minute chart can also be very powerful as well. So those tend to be targets. So what happens is, uh, you know, we're looking to identify a trade. This is where the trade, uh, this case uh, was uh, taken. The, um, uh, and we're looking then to identify a target as well. So in this case, that was up here where this pivot is. And so that was, uh, you know, equ basically equivalent over here. So remember what we said, think 50, 89, any price. So at first, when we get about 50% of the way to the target, we want to trail by about 50% of profit earned. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to the next uh, slide here. Uh, then from there, what happens is as we get about 80% of the way to the target, target being up here, here's the current price, then I want to start trailing up about 80% of profit earned. So you see it's no longer 50%. It's now moving up much closer. Why? Well, what's more likely to statistically happen, gang, is you're coming up to a key resistance point. Many of you have found this out the hard way, right? Is it more likely to just keep going, 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 or is it more likely to stop and reverse? it's far more likely to stop and reverse, right? And by the way, I encourage you guys to keep typing your answers, but I'm trying to help, uh, you know, Jeanette and the team make up some time here this morning. So, um, you know, I will look for your answers to just make sure people are understanding things correctly, uh, but I'm going to keep moving forward here. So as we go ahead and... Um, you know, so now as we get up to the price, what happens is now I'm trailing by 90% of profit earned. So notice it's no longer 50% percent it's not 80 percent it's right up there you know very close to the price and then if it doesn't happen to be that one out of uh, 10 times, one out of 12 times, where it will go up a little bit higher to trap in the retail traders and then come down, uh, then what happens is I'll just move it right up underneath the price and wait to be taken out. So think about that in terms of then uh, 50, 80, 90 price. Okay, so that's the trail and stop uh, strategy. It's a way to allow something to run, but if it's going to stop and reverse, not go ahead and um, you know, give up all the profits because psychologically, there's, there's a lot to be said when you've gone ahead and had a, a, a you know in fact there's some very expensive three letter schools out there that go ahead and um uh, what they teach you is nope you just put your order out there you put your target out there you put your stop loss out there down below and let it run and so many students so many students that i've uh, encountered over the years like well you know it worked at first it went up a little bit and then it turned around and i had a profit on the board and rolled over and became a you know full stop loss um and you know so what i've learned over the time it's better to take some of that profit uh, versus having, because psychologically it causes so many problems when your profits turn to losses because then you're like well just go back up to where it was and i'll get out of it and then it gets, gets worse and worse and becomes a big loss all right so with that being said Let's talk about the momentum shift breakout. What is this? It's a price pattern setup used opposite of conventional thinking as a methodology to capture resumptions. So I use this in trending environments again. Uh, the entry is one tick, one cent, one pip above the high or the low of the reversal signal, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, same trailing stop loss uh, pro, uh, you know, uh, methodology I shared with you a little bit ago, and same stop loss slowly beyond the 20 period exponential moving average or beyond slow speed line. So you'll notice the big difference is where the entry is. Um, the, the first one with trend is taken at the close of the bar. The breakout signals are taken one tick, one cent, one pip beyond the high or low of the reversal signal. So let's take a look at those. Um, and before we do, don't forget, you know, entries, targets and stop loss limits need to know those before you enter the trade commit to those all right because once we, once we get into the trade fear and greed take over so the uh, now what we're looking at before we are talking about momentum shift with trends right so what this screen right here just for those of you that joined a little bit later i'm showing you here is uh from an actual competition um uh in the um uh, uh you know in europe uh, from a little over a week ago so this was a great competition and uh, bringing in they brought in some last minute traders uh to compete against me that recently won some big awards and so just made it more and more interesting i was fortunate to uh, win once again so um we, before we talked about the uh uh, moment, uh, momentum shift with trend. Now what we're talking about is momentum shift breakouts. So Rick, before we were waiting for the market to go up, pull back, and then the moment it started to go ahead and take back off again, when we were getting that signal, we were looking to go long. Well, so now what we're talking about is another variation of the entry. Think about these in, little, in terms of little pivots. 
So in fact, let me just draw this on here. So what you have is you have the little these little pivot shifts back and forth. That's why I call them momentum shifts. So what I'm looking for is now instead of trying to uh, capture the trade right as it starts to go back up, the difference with this trade is it's taken a little bit further into the trade, but it has a little bit higher probability to it from the perspective that okay, once it can cross through that barrier and, and make new highs, it's more likely to uh, uh, continue continue on okay and so that's what we're going ahead and doing so now uh, instead of trying to get the initial bar but then run the risk of if the market is starting to trend sideways and just kind of goes sideways here or potentially reverses uh, we're actually looking for it to actually show that it's making a higher high uh, which offers a statistical higher probability from my perspective to carry on so that's what we're looking for here once again both of these now are long side trades in the uptrend right now the opposite is going to go ahead and be true in the downtrend right so here you can see the momentum uh, shift breakdowns so now you're looking to go short one tick one cent one pip below the low of those bars right can you guys see them so it's that short-term reversal against the predominant trend and looking to go ahead and get short so you can see why thursday and friday in live trading on the screen in front of students, I was going ahead and shorting. You can see why, uh, you know, during the trading competition in Europe in front of a, a huge audience, I was going ahead and going long, right? So I'm looking for these little continuation patterns, what I call the meet in the middle uh, type continuation patterns, all right? Now, let's go ahead because we took it to a different, a new level then uh, from there. And so we added in hedge fund and trending technology to help identify closer to tops and bottoms. So first of all, the hedge, the hedge fund technology allows us to, that's these little red and green dots here, all right? So the red and green dots. Now, what we're doing with that is we're looking to identify instead of these little, uh, you know, uh, spots for entries and re-entries in the middle here, we're looking to identify more of the major points of movement here, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight, you know, just kind of circle all these. I intentionally, I used to uh, uh, circle these and I, I don't do it now. I want you guys to see it as I'm just kind of drawing it out. So you see more major movements, okay, instead of the uh, interbar movements. And you want those entries and re-entries from the momentum shifts. But then you, when, you're, when people are trying to capture bigger moves, you really want to go ahead and, um, you know, uh, have that. So, the, um, so let's go ahead. And then we talked about trending technology. So trending technology, that's this whole area telling us that this is going to be important when we're talking about sideways markets as well. I want you to notice these blue areas okay uh, because the blue areas will offer offer up sideways market trades and then we're looking at the but when we're or when we're red here so the ideal scenario is a red dot red bar red dot red bar in a downtrend okay another way to use these dots is green dots in a downtrend so think about this we talked about momentum shift with trends a little bit ago now then we talked about uh momentum shift breakouts think about that these green and red dots the same way um so looking to go ahead and go short we have a red dot red bar right there at the close of that bar that's where i'm looking at going ahead and going short Okay, some of them yield some really big profits, some of them not so much. And that's trading, right? That's exactly what we're looking at. Um, the other thing is that we're going ahead and looking at the green dots. Once we break below the green dots in a downtrend, that becomes a fresh re-entry, just like the momentum shift breakdowns. And you'll see several of those have some really good moves afterwards. So combining these two technologies of uh, the trending and the hedge fund technology offers up some really great opportunities. So now let's go back and look at the real world charts from the last several days and see if you guys can figure out, you know, once again, why we are trading the way we're trading. During the trading competition, notice what happened. We fired off a green dot, but you'll see that the bar was still blue here 
So what I want, what I'm looking for is a green dot uh, and then a green bar. All right. So the actual entry is actually taken over here from my perspective. Now we'll go back and then say, well, if you missed that for whatever reason, notice that then you had a momentum shift with trend, momentum shift breakout, two more re-entry opportunities to get into this. Okay. Then another momentum shift with trend, momentum shift breakout. Can you guys start to see this here? Does, does it make sense then? why I was doing multiple long side DAX trades during live trading competition and won that trading competition. Makes sense? Okay, and then look right back over here. Uh, this was a little bit later. This was after the competition, but you'll see then we went back to a green dot, green bar scenario and broke above the red dot there as well in the uptrend. Two very nice buy signals, which then led the market off to the upside again. Okay, now um, you know, and you can see this in different time frames, different you know, areas. You'll notice these little cyan dots. That's a really, really cool uh, thing too, which we'll talk about in a little bit with each book cloud. And here it will come in also and share more thoughts about that as well. But look what we're looking for here now: green dots, green bars in an uptrend. Green dots, green bar in an uptrend. Green dots, green bar in an uptrend. Green dots, green bar. Okay, breaking above the red dots in an uptrend. Breaking above the red dots in an uptrend. Breaking above the red dots in an uptrend. You guys starting to get this, uh, the theme here? A lot of entry and re-entry opportunities, which is why this is a foundational tool of strategies that I use uh, for trading. Okay, Now, let's go ahead and take a look at this um, again. And again, we'll discuss magenta and cyan dots as we talk about each and Google Cloud in just a few moments. But uh, for the short side, what are we looking for here? Red dots, red bars, right? So we want to get a red dot, red bar at that point, come short at the low of that bar, or we wait to take the trades close of the first after the red dot, uh, the red bar, okay? And then again, now hopefully you'll start to see more and more, oh wait, green dot and a downtrend, break below that, that's a fresh signal. So now you got this, you know, these two different entry opportunities there. If you miss the major ones with the hedge fund technology, then you have the uh, green, you know, you have the uh, red dot, um, you know, momentum shift with trend or the momentum shift breakout. So a lot of opportunities here uh, for entries and re-entries. And then, so you can see now very clearly why I was focusing on short side trading Thursday. I mentioned Thursday because I just got back Wednesday uh, afternoon, the evening uh, from Europe after doing the trading competition. So I'm showing you the trading competition, then what I've been doing live in my real live environment since, you know, getting back. Friday, same thing. And now you see it. Red dot, red bar. What do we look to do with that? Short, exactly. Okay, red dot, red bar. What are we looking to do with that? Short. Green dot in a downtrend. What are we looking to do? Short. Okay, one tick below the low of that bar that made the green dot. Okay, very nice, right? Okay. So then we took it to another level again. And with sideways markets, there's a whole opportunity. Remember what I told you about the blue, right? The blue is a really great indicator and indi uh, opportunity for uh, trade reentry. So what we do is when we start seeing blue, then what I, I start to do, I put on my favorite oscillators here and uh, start to look for overbought, oversold conditions. See, most textbooks teach uh, oscillators in overbought, oversold conditions, and then people get killed when they start doing those when the market's trending like this right here. Um, you know, here because if you if you use uh, oscillators the way they're traditionally shown, you're going to get killed. The one time that uh, it really does make sense, in my opinion, to use oscillators in the traditional uh, you know book written fashion is when the indicators have the blue. So when you see the blue here, and then we, we go to a quick green uh, you know, bar scenario, then when we get overbought, I want to go ahead and, uh, so you can see here, uh, this is the same chart. So this is the chart with the blue. Now this is the chart with the oscillator here. And you see what happens? See how uh, we had the blue, then you get a quick green and overbought condition. That's a great short opportunity from my perspective. Okay, then you go back to blue, you get a little bit of red, and you get the oversold condition. That's a great buy. You guys follow me? So the blue is an excellent indicator of where I want to start looking back to uh, using 
oscillator type strategies in a sideways market condition rather than, um, you know, like right over here where we're focusing primarily on uh, actual trend trading. Does that make sense? You guys see that? So I'm going to be focusing on all these green dots and uptrend, uh, momentum shift with trends, momentum shift breakouts. I'm going to focus on all that where we're green and trending. Uh, that's a trending technology I was sharing with you. Um, at the same time, then I'm going to focus on the oscillators in the sideways markets. And so, you know, I've made some very huge gains uh, uh, in the live trading room here, you know, using these sideways market conditions, several thousand dollar uh, type days in the live trading room using that strategy. So they've actually been some of the bigger winners uh, because, you know, the, the market has a lot of sideways market activity and then less trending. Once you get that trending, you can really go ahead and do some wonderful things there. Okay. Now, so then we took it uh, to a whole new level again. Yes, again. You know, my friend Hubert went ahead and uh, has often told me, it's like, hey, you know, Rob, you know, you know each new cloud has so much opportunity, but I, I have these people, they, they just want to quickly buy right, you know, right on a quick breakout. They don't, they don't put any other science into it. And it's like, you have any thoughts on that? And so we got together and we looked at, you know, the uh, core uh, foundational uh, champion setups with each new cloud. And we were able to put together some really great systems to, to, uh, to do that. So here, and I'm going to go ahead, and by the way, actually, I can uh, uh, just pull up, uh, well, actually, you know what, I'll wait till I get through the HMO Cloud, and I'll start showing like stocks as well and other things like that. So um, the, uh, the so like right here, here's a situation where with the HMO Cloud, all right, so typically, an HMO Cloud buyer would often just buy this right on the breakout initially, all right? But a lot of times you'll get rejection on those. And um, so how do you identify and statistically increase the probabilities of success that it's going to continue? Um, what we did was we fil we add some filtering technology with the champion setups uh, into the Ichimoku cloud uh, process. And so now that's why you start to see these um, cyan dots in, in an uptrend here and magenta dots uh, in the short side, okay? Uh, and, of course, you'll see all the regular stuff. You know, we've talked about before, you're above the cloud over here, you get a green dot, green bar, looking for a long, right? Uh, the momentum shift with trend, momentum shift with trend, looking for the long, right? So, uh, but now what we did was we added in some filtering technology to show that, hey, you know what, this is a higher probability opportunity, all right? So, you know, looking at this uh, here, and like this is overnight, you know, this is overnight session. So I've got different time frames, different timings to show you this uh, because a lot of people use this in Forex and that as well. So here we have the, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the cyan dot for the long, uh, is and uh, you know then the market went and took off very nice. You can see the other re-entry opportunities I've already been showing you. Green dot, green bar, green dot, green bar. You guys get the point. So you know stocks as well, same thing. So in this case, we did actually break right above, and it went ahead and tied in with the other work from the champion setups, and so it triggered an alert right there and then took off. And hopefully, you guys can see several of the other uh, entry and re-entry opportunities here. So. You know, same thing. The, uh, we actually had done an overnight champion traders course before, and you can see this. So it broke down over here with the magenta dot. That's the cloud breakdown by, um, and then the market went down. Then it had the cyan dot went back up. Then it had the magenta dot went back down. Then it had the cyan dots went back up. Okay. So what's nice though is uh, you'll notice that um, w with the Ichimoku cloud, it gives you a couple different pieces of information, which you will talk more about as well, but uh, the trending um, and when you're more likely having a, a more legitimate break. So it goes on and on. I can show you lots of examples. I want to help make up some time, uh, you know, from our event here, but you know, you'll, um, you'll understand the point that Ichimoku cloud as it's a whole new layer, and it's not just a simple break above. It has to be other filtering requirements, so sometimes it's going to take a little bit of time after it goes through the cloud to trigger off because we want to increase those probabilities. But you see what happens here. It doesn't matter. I've shown you different charts there, gold, DAX, et cetera, and I'm going to show you some more stocks in a minute as well. Um, so, but you'll see that. So you'll see cloud entries and re-entries. You see the traditional green dot, green bar in the uptrend. Green dot, then wait for the green bar. Green dot, green bar. Green dot, green bar. You guys get the point. Then you're looking to also break above red dots um, in the uptrend. Lots of entry re-entries. Momentum shift with trend. Momentum shift with trend. 
Is this making sense? Lots of entries and re-entries in these different markets. And then we also showed you how you can use it when it's in a sideways market condition. Well, so then what we did was we took all this and added scanners and watch lists to this process as well. Because as you can imagine, watching several of your favorite instruments uh, you know, can be uh, very daunting without you know, some uh, technological assistance. If you only trade a couple of instruments, not a big deal. But when you go in and watch several, and so what we have is we actually added in there uh, the uh, scanners. So you have the uh, the different alerts that are there, whether it's cloud, the trend, the momentum shifts, uh, the big uh, hedge fund buy sells. We take all that together um, and it really helps identify some uh, great trading opportunities. So let's go ahead and actually, while we're uh, here, let's, uh, you know, and that's really important, by the way, because when I'm doing trading competitions like I was in Europe, as you can imagine, there's a lot of things happening. You've got these huge audience um, they're they're asking you what you're trading. They're challenging on why you're trading that. Uh, there's all this talking to all these different uh, you know traders and what they're doing and, and that. So there's a lot going on. So it's important to go ahead and have these scanners. So like here's the actual scanner. This is the live scanner uh, pulled up right now on the screen. So this isn't even the PowerPoint. This is uh, right here. What do you notice about this? Well, so what I, I notice here is the daily chart of the DAX down, hourly chart of DAX, down, two minute chart of DAX, down, one minute chart of DAX, down. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the DAX here yesterday afternoon. Take a look at that, gang. First of all, what do you notice? Uh, well, so here's a, here's a case in point. Notice how it took three bars after it took three bars after uh, we started going down below the, the um, uh, Ichimoku cloud uh, to go ahead and even trigger off a signal. But there it is. There's a signal yesterday afternoon. So you saw all those um, you know, those great sell signals here that I was just showing you. So I said, this is all live. I'm moving around live charts right now so you guys can uh, uh, see it. This is obviously uh, you know yesterday's uh, closing data because the market's not open right now but the uh the point is that this is you know the real charts and so you see what happened is we broke down below there and then by the way what else do we have red dot red bar what are we supposed to do with that exactly short red dot red bar short breaking down below green dot in the downtrend looking to short momentum shift with trend momentum shift with trend momentum shift with trend momentum shift break down momentum shift breakdown you guys see all the entry and reentry opportunities yesterday afternoon uh, you know using those different scanners so we got scanners and watch lists which is really cool um, you know on a lot of the different platforms uh, for this so now you're starting to see all these different opportunities and and now let's go back and you know look at this all again you can see all these different entries as I'm building upon this why did I win that trading competition focusing on trading long right? Why did I go and make money, um, you know, to Thursday morning and Friday morning with the shorts? Because following these uh, foundational tools. So the reason why this is so perfect is because it's a foundational tool. It takes away a lot of the fear of undefined losses and the fear of missing out, eliminates some of the greed because you know exactly that the next great trade is right around the corner. Um, I've just shown you the last couple of days of my actual live trade in the in the uh, the, the trading room on uh, why I was focusing short. I showed you why I was focusing on long in the DAX, and you saw the countless opportunities of entries, re-entries that were available to people. Uh, it will constantly remind you that your feelings and your opinions will hurt your PL and um, you know it'll make you come back to the champion setups. Uh, it provides you very simple and straightforward indications uh, to identify buy and sell areas with very uh, little training. So. The uh, you know the bo bottom line is of one competition after competition with this uh, as of my foundation. You know whether it's these ones domestically here in front of big audiences, the ones internationally like in London and such. Um, you know over and over again. You know in New York, um, it goes Las Vegas, um, the Italy. Uh, you know, it goes on and on. So, you know, we kind of talked about this. Well, you know, it's it's that challenge. Do, okay, do you just talk about it or do you actually do it? Well, we've just kind of showed you here. Uh, since I've been back, uh, you know, we, we, what I did during the trading competition itself, 
right? And then the, um, you know, Thursday and Friday right there being back in the live trading room. And hopefully now as I, I show you these examples, you're like, wow, that really makes sense. And so the, um, you know, what I want you guys to do as we get ready to turn it over to Hubert, I want you to think about this and uh, I want you to see this for yourself. And, uh, you know, I've been saying this all along. I, I keep using these things to win trading competition. That's the foundation of those of that process. And so, you know, here's how we can help. We want you to train with us. Uh, and this is Hubert, myself. Uh, we do a lot of long range sniper school uh, activity together. Um, and, uh, you know, the tra that takes precision. But, you know, when you're shooting out at a bus, um, you know, uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds or thousand plus yards out, uh, depending on which weapon we're using and the range, what you're doing. But here, you know, see the long range, we're shooting at little targets, little, you know, head sized targets, you know, uh, you know, with a hostage and a hostage taker type situation inside a bus window at great distances, precision is required, right? You can't be sloppy. Sloppy gets people killed. Sloppy makes bad things happen. So the reality is we want you to trade like we shoot, um, you know, and, you know, here and I've done trading competitions and different things like that, uh, live trading events, and, you know, you know, he'll tell you how we've used that together. So, you know, I want you to be one of our next students using some of these same strategies. I want you to hear more about some of these strategies as he retires it in with Ichimoku. Real money, real trading, real results. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Hubert now, um, and I'll hold off to questions till the end. I want to get, let Hubert get his training out of the way. We're trying to make up some time. Uh, we started about eight or ten minutes uh, uh, later than we were supposed to, so we're trying to help make up some time here. But I'll get back to some of those great questions you guys are asking after my friend Hubert goes. Hubert, over to you. If you can see my uh, what does this work on slide, please give me a yes in the chat box. I'm going to skip my bio because I don't think my bio is that important anyway. Hopefully you already know me. If you don't, I am a fat redneck from Kentucky that knows how to trade. There's the short of it. That's quick and easy, right? Don't have to make it complicated. All right. So, uh, so what Rob and I have done, uh, Rob and I have been friends for a very long time and we do go to a lot of shooting, uh, long range shooting and stuff like that. And we love uh, doing stuff together. We're probably going to go back down again this year. I was just talking to Shannon's wife the other day, Rob. Uh, for the uh, new renewal on our membership there. So we do a lot of that stuff. It's fun. We also work together. We, we, like we'll, we'll, we'll try to figure out like, hey, man, how does your stuff work with my stuff? How does my stuff work with your stuff to increase our our profitability for ourselves personally? And then once we find a really good combination that we like, then we're like, man, I'm killing it over here with this. And it, yeah, I'm killing it over here with it too. Then we start sharing it with our students and stuff like that. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to show you how our work can you be used in conjunction uh, feel free to take notes and stuff like that and, and, and borrow and steal, uh, you know, the techniques and stuff that we're sharing with you today. So obviously you probably have a question like, what does this work on? Well, this works on stocks, options, futures, Forex, uh, bonds, gold, cryptos. I'm going to give you a little, a little Ichimoku one-on-one of one of my favorite setups. And then I'm going to show you this entire indicator package where it's kind of going to automate a lot of that stuff so that you can see it. Does it only work on minute charts? No, it works on whatever time frame you like. If you want to look on, on on monthly, weekly, and daily charts, you can. If you want to look on on intraday charts, you can do that too. So these are the back-tested results on, on Ichimoku, on the S&P 500, on the past five years. So when you look at it, uh, in the stocks in the S&P 500, it worked on 430 out of 500. So it had about an 86% hit rate. So that's not too bad. Um, now, if you would have taken every single long, as Rob said, like when it went, went above the cloud, below the cloud, above the cloud, below the cloud, if you did every one of those, your return would be 33%. We're not going to do that. We're going to improve that by putting a filter mechanism in, and we're going to increase our re potential return rate of return from 33% to 79% by removing those counter trend trade signals and using that three day filter and the new hedge fund technology and the, and the, uh, the, uh, the background color on the candles. And it's just a really complicated way of saying this right here. If you've got a massive uptrend like this, what in the world, why would you short that? What you would, should do is buy it here and buy it here and buy it here and buy it here and buy it here. I don't want you to short here and cover here. That's craziness. Like you're going against the current. Like that's like trying to swim upstream on a river. You might be able to do it for a few strokes, but I bet you eventually will drown. All right. So that's across the S and P 500. And then if you trade currencies, it's been profitable 
on 29 currencies over the past 10 years. Now, you do have to use a, the little magic formula, a little recipe, right? Everybody's got their own little individual recipe. Um, we use a, a daily, an hourly, and a 10-minute. And we use those multi-time multi, multi -time frame analysis together to have overlap and go, okay, now it's a good signal. So you do have to use a filter mechanism for that. You can't just follow this stuff blindly. I wish you could, but you can't. Now, time frame selection, this is really, really important. This thing will work on, you know, you can do yearly charts. You can do monthly charts, weekly charts, daily charts, hourly charts, minutes. You can use tick frames. I'm going to show you my favorites. They are by no means the best. It's just the ones that I like. You may like totally different ones, and I'm not going to uh, criticize you for that. If that's what you like and that's what you're doing, as long as you're making money, I don't really care. I don't care which ones you like. These are the ones I like. All right? So if I'm looking at a daily time frame, you should see this slide right here. Does everybody see the daily chart? Then, then my time horizon right here at point one, my time horizon for this trade, I want to be in it for weeks of time. Okay. If I'm looking at a daily time, a daily chart, I'm probably going to be in that thing for a minimum of two weeks, probably more. Okay. And then uh, I, I know the cloud's going to extend for about one month. So that's going to be 12. 20 trading days. If I'm looking at an hourly chart, and for you options traders out there, if you're looking at a daily chart, then you're going to be trading monthly options, all right, because you're going to be in it for weeks, all right? If you're looking at an hourly chart, I know I'm going to be in that thing for days, so that means I'm going to be in it for at least three days. It could be three days. It could be 21 days. It could be 90 days, right? But it's going to start out as at least a, a two- or three-day trade. And that's an hourly chart. If you're an options trader and you're trading options and you're looking at an hourly chart, hourly chart you're going to trade weekly options pretty pretty straightforward right now here on a, a minute chart if i'm looking at a 10 minute and you can go shorter time frame and you can go substantially larger just pick your potential poison that you want to drink right if i'm looking at a 10 minute time frame i know i'm going to be in this trade for hours and this is going to be good for probably a four hour trade where this one over here minimum is going to be good for a three hour trade or a three three day trade so is everybody kosher does everybody understand the concept of I'm going to look at whatever time frame I'm looking at. It has a corresponding time horizon and a minimum that this cloud's going to extend. This is going to help me a lot. So if I'm looking, if the market's chopping, then I get an hourly buy signal, then I'm like, oh, well, I probably got three days to play with this. If I get an hourly sell signal, oh, I probably got about three days to, to play with this situation. All right. So this is what you want is the number one technique used in japan there's this number one best-selling book seven years in a row based upon this technology and this strategy it's called ichimoku it's on all the free platforms out there and all the good ones you're going to know exactly what's happening in seconds it's designed and i wish i invented it i didn't um, i'm i'm one of the uh, the experts that tout it just because i like it so much because i can take somebody that's never traded uh, before or somebody that's trading and it's never really made any good money and and kind of condense and cut like two or three years off their lifespan of learning just by teaching them this strategy going look here's how you need to look at a chart and it's really good for that okay uh, you would have been very old if you invented it yes i would uh, it's designed to produce a very clear signals all right but at first it's going to be a little confusing because you're going to be it's, it's just going to be weird because if you've never seen it it looks odd you're like man it's kind of busy looking but this is the edge for you now how many of you have used have you ever used an indicator that showed you what happened in the past yeah we all have right tons of indicators do that right and indicators are usually a combination of price momentum or volume and then you throw in a little a little seasoning there of your special special little proprietariness but we've all used indicators that worked in the past You've probably had some indicators that's telling you, all right, this is what the price action is doing right now. There's very few indicators that will tell you with a probability, this is probably what's going to happen in the future. Now, they are Ichimoku, which I'm going to share with you today. Uh, there's Elliott Wave, and there's Fibonacci's. Now, um, uh, fibs are good. Make sure you pick one or two. Don't use all of them because you're going to be confused. I like Ichimoku the best with combination with fibs. If you're an Elliott Wave guy, I don't. I try not to ding on them, uh, but it's kind of weird. But the, it, you could throw ten Elliott Wave guys in a room and tell them to give you a count, and you'd have three different counts from them. And I'm like, man, it makes no sense. It should be more clinically like that. So there are good guys out there that do Elliott Waves. Um, friends with some of them, and instead of learning it, I just call them up and go, "Hey, man, what's the count? You think higher or lower?" So that's how I do it. So. First, do you see a black chart with a little blue ribbon running from the lower left to the upper right? Do you see that on your chart? 
Let me put on audience view here so I can see what you see. All right, cool. All right, so let's go through this theory real quick. The theory of Ichimoku is, number one, whatever you are trading, if it's above the blue thingy, which is called the cloud, so everybody type in C-L-O-U-D in your chat box right now. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the cloud. And the, 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 the reasoning for this is, if the price action is above that cloud, then we want to be bullish in nature. In other words, we want to be long. If the price action goes below that cloud, like in that instance right there, then we'd want to turn bearish. Okay, now, is it going to be perfect? No. Is it going to probably do better than you individually trying to figure it out? Yeah, it definitely will. So you can see it's going to act like a nice little fluffy cloud or a mini trampoline. Or it's not going to work, and that's information that you need to know. It's going to say, hey, it's breaking. So now we've got to start thinking about maybe we want to change trends. Oh, no, it reversed on us. Nice little fluffy cloud, mini trampoline, mini trampoline, mini trampoline. So that's the first thing you have to know. The second piece of information, so we're going to do this uh, step by step. So cloud, C-L-O-U-D. The next line here is called the turning line. And just think about that as a fast moving average. It's not a moving average. It's a midpoint average. So type in T-U-R-N into the chat box, T-U-R-N. And that's a nine-point midpoint average. And the theory there is this is the fast one, so we'll go fast. All right. It's going to come down there, slam, and just jump back off of it. Now, there's sometimes that it won't do that. It'll come down here, and it'll take it out. And that's when the standard line comes in. So we've got the cloud, C-L-O-U-D. We have the turning line, the T-U-R-N. That's going to be the fast. Uh, this is going to be the slow, the cloud slow. This is going to be medium. This is going to be the STD, and that's going to be a medium top speed. So real quickly, top in STD. And STZ is just an abbreviation for standard line. All right. So if it breaks the yellow turning line, it's probably going to go to the standard line and then bounce off there. Now, if it breaks the yellow, the purple, both of the turning and the standard line, then it's got a good chance it's going to go either to the top of the cloud or the bottom of the cloud. So basically, these are all fallback points. If you're super, super aggressive, you'd be long here. I tend not to do that one. I tend to let it come back down here so I can get a little bit of a discount. So I would be long here. I would be long here. And I'd be long there. Then if I get one, two, or three bars below the cloud, heads up, I can't go long anymore until it gets back above the cloud. Okay? I could start shorting things. And the last piece of information is the lagging line. So we've got the cloud, C-L-O-U-D. We have the turning line, T-U-R-N. We have the standard line. And then we have the lagging line. And the lagging line just lags price. Now, the cool thing about this is on this chart when I took it, you can see the slant of the cloud saying, hey, I'm going to trade sideways to slightly higher in the future uh, going forward. And if I do sell off, I should catch you right here and then bounce you off of that situation right there. Now, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. That's why you use stop losses. So Ichimoku cloud signals, lagging line crossing the cloud, price crossing the cloud is the one we're going to talk about today in today's webinar. Uh, price and lagging line touching the cloud, the cloud spans crossing the turning line, crossing the standard line, those are all different signals. There's more than that. These are just some really common ones. All right, so when we're looking at this, you can see where the price line crosses the cloud, and this is the one we're going to talk about right there. So what we're doing is we're adding rules to the filter, and what we're doing is we're saying, number one, if we have one bar below the cloud, that's going to be an aggressive entry. Two bars is going to be a moderate entry, and three bars is going to be a conservative entry. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get short here, and I'm going to stay short until I get back above the cloud here with one to three bars. Now, you can no you notice I didn't say we're going to short here and cover here. That stuff doesn't happen in real life. If I can get from here to here, I'll take that all day long. The meat in the middle is what we call that, okay? We don't want to leave a lot of meat on that chicken wing, all right? All right, so bullish signals. Price above the cloud are bullish. Price in the clouds are bullish if they come from the bullish side. The lagging line crossing the cloud is the main signal of trend change. Price crossing the cloud is an earlier but less reliable warning of the trend change. Price in the lagging line will often find support at the cloud's edges. Cloud spans crossing may be a sign that the trend is about to change. Be on the lookout for those thick clouds after a run-up. It could also be a trend reversal. So those are some of the bullish signals. 
And the bearish signals are going to be the exact same, but in the opposite direction. So read that really quick. I'm going to grab another halls and a drink of water. When you're done reading that slide, tap in that you are done, and I'll move on to the next slide. I just need to make sure I uh, lubricate uh, my throat here. It's a little scratchy. So when you're done, just tap in done. Oh, it's much better. That way I'm not coughing right in your ear. All right, so bear signals are the is the evil twin of the bullish signals. They're just in the opposite direction, all right? All right, so let's move on. Can you uh, explain thick clouds after a run? I'll show you on live charts. I can show you on live, live charts. Stop with the bourbon. The bourbon will actually help it, Robert, not, not a hindrance. It would be a, a, an advantage. All right, multi-time frame analysis. Once again, I told you my favorite was daily, hourly, and 10-minute. Those are the ones I'm going to use to scan for in front of you today. Best stop still use, um, uh, above or below the cloud, parabolic SAR, or something that's going to automatically trail it for you. You can use Rob's technology. He told you about the, the mathematical formula that he uses to trail stops. That works really good, too. All right. All right, easy to follow four-step process. Number one, scan for price crossing the cloud or for trending markets. That's the first thing I do. This is the foundation of the stuff that I do and that Rob does. So this is the first step that we use. Now, do we use other proprietary stuff? Yeah, we do, but this is our foundation that we start from. I'm going to drill down to smaller time frames and let the system alert me to the trades that I want to take in that direction. And then I'm going to place the stop, and then I'm going to scale out or exit when it alerts me to do so. All right. So in this example, you see a chart of ALGN. So in this example, knowing what you know about Ichimoku, you would want to either be long at, hold on just a second here. Let me grab a pen. Ding, ding. You'd either want to be long at, oh, come on. Don't let my pen mess up. All right. All right. You could go long one. There's two. There's three. Okay. And you could start buying pullbacks at the turning line or the standard line or the turning the left standard line, then across back above. Kind of like um, Rob's continuation trades, right? So then what I do, that's a daily trade. I know this, without a doubt, is a massive uptrend that I want to play, okay? And I knew that once it crossed above here, like this right here. Now, I'm going to drill down into my smaller time frames, okay? Then I'm going to go from a daily to a 60. Now I'm looking for a 66. Now I'm looking for a 60 minute or one hour buy signal. So you can see right here, the green above the cloud. Okay. And I'm also looking, I, I would have the cyan dot right there show up. I've got it off right now. Now let's say I missed this right here. Here's where Rob's technology comes in. If you don't want to use the turning line, the standard line, then what you can do is you can use his signals right here. Boom. Boom, right there in that situation. This right here. Boom, right there. You got you got these right here. Um, and then if you want to use the hedge fund technology, they're the big dots, okay? So Rob's are the small ones, and then the hedge funds are going to give you reversals. In this situation, since I know that the daily is in a massive uptrend, the odds are I'm probably not going to short that bad boy back to the cloud here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it rotate from green to cyan, back to red, back to cyan. All right, now I'm looking at green, and then I'm looking for green, and then a big hedge fund dot. Or if I miss that thing entirely again, I can wait and do a breakout above these signals here on Rob's small dots, okay? So there's multiple entries. Once you've established that you found something that's in a massive uptrend or a massive downtrend, then these things are going to give you re-entries, all right? But they're going to be mathematical re-entries. They're not going to be emotional re-entries where you're just chasing because you don't know what you're doing. All right, and then we look at a five-minute chart, and then you can see here, this one is back on a five. It went from green to cyan, back to, to green on the candles, and then there's a buy. There's a series of buys. Here's a series of buys. Now, when you look at this, I'm not going to sell at point two. In other words, I'm not going to short it. But if I'm long at one, I have several different exits I can do. At one, I can take it off. If I'm long, I can go exit, exit, exit. And if I miss this one down here, I also have some more re-entries that I can play with. Okay, at, five, at three, four, and at three, five, and seven. And then I'm looking for it to continue on. So remember, green candles mean up. Red candles mean down. The blue candles mean sideways mambo jumbo. All right. And it's a good place for you to start looking for the transition 
of it continuing back up, back either up or back to the downside. So in TradeStation, what I do is I have the scanner set up, and I'm going to show you it live the same way Rob did. And you can see here, I first scan for a daily and an hourly, and then I can have it set to a interval of two minutes, and then say, oh, I'm looking for sell, sell, sell. So there's sell, 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 okay? Or I'm looking for a buy, buy, buy in that situation, all right? So in this example, I've got NUE, sell, 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 down on the daily, and then I just look for that two-minute sell signal. Whatever time frame you want, you can use a one minute, you can use tick charts, you can use a five minute, a 10, a min, ten minute. Mine are going to be daily, 60 and 10 minute, and this thing's just going to scan for me and spit me out some really good opportunities. So here's another example of soybeans. This is down and this is up, and you can see, boom, transition. Right there's, there's a sell signal there, but it's blue, so I wouldn't take that first one. I would probably wait until I got this second sell signal right here. Or if I had another dot that it developed up right there, then I would put the line there the way Rob does and then do a continuation trade or uh, a resumption trade. All right. So I'm going to go live to charts. Let me show you how this works because uh, as, as great as um, uh, PowerPoint is, it's a, little, it's a little useless when we need to look at live stuff. So no cherry picking, the good, the bad, the warts and all. That's what I'm promising you here. So here you can see I've got CFMFT Pro, which means this is a collaboration between a hedge fund, Rob's uh, proprietary stuff, and my proprietary stuff, and we've combined it all together in one package so that it makes it a lot easier to use. So first, you can see my interval, and all I have to do is if I'm coming over here, I can look at the futures markets, and I can say, ooh, TY on the, on the 10 year, that's going to be a buy for me. So I know on the daily, that's a buy. Look, boop, right there, there's a buy. And then I can look at the smaller time frames. Uh, 60 and then 10 and then I know a lot of you trade still trade uh, stocks and options so I'm going to scroll down here I can say cloud buy or sell so let's look at AFL so it's got a daily sell signal on it the Ichimoku you see the magenta dot there can everybody see the magenta dot with a red candle that one's the filter technology that one's probably going to work better than the ones that don't have the magenta dot and the red candle so then you can look at a 60-minute sell. Now, remember, how many days did we say a 60-minute sell signal would be good for? Probably, right? You can't guarantee anything in trading, but how many days did we say? If we had a 60-minute sell signal, it's going to be good for how many hours? A 60-minute, how many days? Yeah, three to five. So here you go. Here, here you go. Here's your sell signal right here. You see it right here? So this went below. There's your sell signal right there. All right. So you got one, two, three, four, five. You count that in six if you want, but you had a little filter criteria there. And then I can go down to the 10-minute time frame, just knowing that, oh, okay, well, I just want to be really, really easy on this stuff. And then I go, okay, here's a magenta on a 10-minute. There's a sell signal. If you missed, here are a couple other re-entries that you can try. Does that make sense? Let's do it for a couple others. Let's take a look at BEN. So these will be all sales. There's a sell. There's your sell right there. All right. And then I can do a 10 minute. There's my sell. On a 10 minute, how many hours am I probably going to have that are going to work for me there? I'm probably going to have four, three, four, five hours, right? On a on a 10 minute time frame, I'm going to have about three hours minimum. So you can see there's a sell, there's a sell, so there's a sell, and that's going to start pushing lower for me. So look at let's look at BLK. These are all the scans. Uh, live from Friday, and you can see there's a sell. This one right here on the 60, I would pass on that one because it's cyan, okay? That's cyan, but the 10 minutes still looks pretty good. I just have to know that the, the 60 minutes are a little choppier, all right? Let's go to eBay, E-B-A-Y. So this one is interesting. It, it tried to get above the cloud, couldn't on a daily, broke below, Okay, the 60s definitely a sell. Look at that overhead resistance. And now look here. On this one, we're just waiting for this 10-minute to fire us off another sell signal if we trade this thing on Monday. All right? And you can see it had a nice little move here that you had caught the day before. Sell signal right here. Red candle. Uh, magenta dot. And then if you miss that one, boom, you got another sell signal here. Here. Make sense? Now let's switch to the buy side. BXP. That's Boston Properties. That is a green candle on the daily with a cyan dot. The 60 is rocking. That looks good all day long. Now, on this one, let's say that you missed this initial long right here, okay? You'd have to go all the way back here to a 10-minute 
to fund that initial loan, well, that's Thursday. That's going to do you no good at all. All right. That, that, there's Thursday. This is Friday. So here's where Rob's technology comes in. And now you've got the other continuation and follow through dots that you can get those re entry points on. Okay. Okay. Let me see here. We'll update your screen one more time. All right. So here's another thing. We got DO, DO. This one. This one I would pass on just because it's got that gap associated with it. Um, it did gap above the cloud. It, it is a buy signal. The 60 looks good. The 10 looks good. But for my money, there's probably just going to be better stuff to trade. So you do know how, you do have to know how to filter out stuff like that. But we teach all that stuff in the course. All right. And then you've got MAC. There's MAC. That looks way better than that last one. So the daily, hourly, 10-minute re, uh, uh, resumption of the trend signals there. Here you've got, look here, Procter & Gamble. Look there, Procter & Gamble, long, long, and a little bit sideways there. All right, and then Verizon, there's V, that's a daily, hourly, and a 10-minute uh, buy signal with multiple re-entries on the daily. All right, so is it does it make sense how we use this stuff? We use it systematically, and if I want to just come over here and scan instead of for a daily, I could say, hey, just scan for 60-minute buy signals or sell signals. Just do it for 10 minutes, and this will give me, within a click of two buttons, I can just go, well, I guess right here, I can go uh, cloud buys and sales, boom, 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 and I can filter for whatever I want to. You can see if you want to go for uh, hedge fund buys and sales, you could filter by that. If you want to go through momentum shifts, boom, boom, you could, you could filter for that. If you just want trend direction, boom, boom, you can click that button, and you can go one for one. So it's got one, two, three, four all scans built into the platform so and it's pretty easy to use now it is designed mainly for trend traders that likes to play breakouts and continuation it's not really the best pullback indicator in the world right um we we, we prefer you, you you trade the trend we think you're going to be it's going to be easier on you and it's going to be more profitable if you do that do you have the filter for ninja so let's go through that so uh is the scan done pre-market the scan is done live uh, if you're doing an intraday, it'll do it live on the smaller time frames. It just does it live. If you want to do it pre-market, you could do that too. Uh, so here's something special that you can get to dramatically shorten your learning curve and get you up and running right away. The Momentum Shift Pro is one part of it. The Hedge Fund Pro, which is a part of it, and the Momentum Trender Indicator. So that's three different indicators that I know from previous when we have sold them has been minimum, minimum, even on specials, $997 a pop for each one of those bad boys, okay? But we've con we've condensed them and we've combined them together. So you got the Momentum Shift Pro, the Hedge Fund Pro, and the Momentum Trend Indicators. Quickly and easily identify market drops and tops and bottoms. Easily identify trend continuation opportunities. Be able to identify institutional breakouts and pullbacks so that you can trade the best time frames and instruments to avoid the chop. Uh, it tells you when Rob wants to be long and short. And look, Rob has won more trading championships than anybody I know in the world. Does it work on ESCL, GC, and bonds? Yes, it does. Um, what settings do you use for the cloud? The defaults. Uh, so that you know which side of the markets to be on. You're going to work smarter, not harder. And this is going to allow you to find better trades a lot quicker than you just hunting and pecking for them. And then it's also got our filter technology, so it's going to filter out some of those crappy trades for you. All right. Now, this is going to be set up so you do not have to waste any precious time staring at charts when you don't need to be there. And you can just filter out and pick the best trades that you need to be paying attention to. All right. Champion Setups Boot Camp Trading Pack 1 immediately delivered it's an on-demand course 16 hours of on-demand course to get you going right away 16 hours of training and live training sessions designed to get you up and running and you get you'll get the training that you need training pack two: advanced cloud chart secrets i've never taught this anywhere else we just did this one time special um I haven't even uh, carved it out and made it an individual a la carte uh, course yet, but I did an advanced Ichimoku course. Uh, we've got our, our cloud charting secrets, and then we did an advanced cloud charting after that, too. 15 hours of video, tutorials, PDF, cheat sheets, bonus classes designed to make you an Ichimoku cloud charting expert.
Uh, Rob's real way to trade the markets. Some of Rob's favorite setups for small lots that you can learn immediately and use right now. A simpler and easier way to trade so that you can go with the markets, not against them. You will know exactly what to do next so that you don't have to think so hard. When you get these strategies, everything else is going to get a lot easier and simpler to deal with. So if you're going to take Rob's uh, proprietary setups that he uses to win all these championships, he's going to show you those and share those with you so that that's going to do nothing but improve your trading. All you got to do is just learn the setups, follow the colors, follow the trade setups that are placed right on your chart. It's really cool. All right. How to trade trends and trend reversals using institutional activity. Rob's proven strategies for both swing and day trades. Specific trades for scalpers and all day positions. And then the biggest mistake that losing traders make and how to avoid them. How to find the best stops to use for profit risk so that you don't guess or worry about it ever again. How to pick the best time frame or tick frame for you to trade. And then how to use the Momentum Shift, the Hedge Fund Trender Pro, the Momentum Trender Indicator that comes with the boot camp to quickly identify the best trades and to potentially make a lot more money. Trading strategies that are the most profitable for Rob and his students right now. So you get all of that in the class plus all of those indicators as a package. So uh, my way to trade the markets, proven setups to time the markets better. Uh, trading rules and indicator settings. Checklist with cheat sheets, with entries and exits, with stops and targets. How to scan the markets for the good ones. How to filter out the duds so that you never guess what to do next. How to potentially minimize the risk. Uh, how to potentially maximize your gains. Everything is recorded and posted online so you will not miss a thing that you can have access to it immediately as you place your order. All right. Here's a fraction of what you'll learn. Uh, number one best-selling Ichimoku course on the market. Seven proven setups, trading rules and indicator settings, checklist with cheat sheets with entries and exits, stop losses and targets, how to scan the markets with Ichimoku, how to filter out the best trades. You will never guess. You will never have to guess about what you need to do next. It's either going to be long, short, or set on your hands. How to avoid head fakes, plus the brand new advanced Ichimoku course, which we have only sold one time previous with this package. All right. Let me get to the next slide. So here is some examples of the Russell on a 10-minute chart. This is on eSignal. This is uh, Rob's chart, and as you can see, it's working really well. And then this is the exactly uh, the way that Rob made money in real money, real tools, real strategies using his examples. As you can see, the green candles, the green triangles, and the green dots. All right. Uh, Rob and I have cracked the code with this replicable formula that can be applied to help you find better trades. The creation of this process could make the big difference in your trading. You can potentially, in a relatively short amount of time, make a lot more money once you find better trades with a lot less hassle. So I hope you really, really get that one thing. This is some of the best stuff that I have and some of the best stuff that Rob has. We've combined it together. And it's the foundation that we use to scan the markets to find our trades with. All right. So, so obviously, the question is, how do you apply this code and process to your trading? You have a choice. You can do it slow, using trial and error, taking some of what we shared with you today. Or you can do it quickly, using the championship setup indicator package. Is there live room as well? We did do live trading. So if you're interested in joining the other successful students that currently haven't used it, then you get two championship trading workshops with 16 hours of content, 997, cloud charting secrets, 15 hours, uh, 497, momentum shift pro, 497, momentum trender pro, 497, hedge fund trender pro, 997, bonus one cloud trading add-on pack, and then scanners and watch lists available based upon the platform okay that's a total uh that's a 997 just for that so that grand total would be four thousand nine hundred and seventy nine dollars you can order it today for 997 the deadline is at 11 30 so you got 30 minutes to decide if you want it or not okay so the the link to order that is championship 
or I should say champion setups, champion setups.com forward slash win. We're using Rob's winning streak here. All right. So there you go. There is that. I've got a couple more slides here for you. Let me post this in here. All right. And go to the next slide. Uh, it is for 11 o'clock today, I think is the deadline. Yeah, 11.30. 11.30 is the deadline for today. All right. So there's some more charts. Here's the bonus watch list and scanners for platforms that support them. Number one question I'm getting is what platforms do these work on? Let me get to that really quickly. I'll show you what those work for. Also, if you have any questions, you can email support at becomeabettertrader.com. Once again, you get the championship setup trading workshop. The Cloud Charting Secrets, Momentum Shift, Momentum Trender, Hedge Fund Pro, Cloud Charting Add-on Pack, the scanners and watch list available on the platforms that support them. Your deadline is today at 1130. Total for the package is 997. I can tell you from personal experience, I know that I have taken one of these myself, the Hedge Fund Trender Pro, and sold it for 997. And I know we sold these over here for 997 too. So it's one heck of a deal. Is this for a lifetime? Yes. There is no recurring fees of any kind. Once you buy it, you own it, you own it for life. You are good to go. And like I said, this is the foundational information that Rob teaches and I teach, and we've combined them together into one, one sweet package. And we also threw you in there one little kick-ass little discount too. All right. So what platforms do they work on? Let me see if I can get to that slide. Available platforms. TradeStation 9.1, TradeStation 9.5, NinjaTrader 7, NinjaTrader 8, Multi-charts with scanner. So in here, if it says with watch list, it'll say scanner, radar screen and scanner. So just watch the notes. Multi-charts, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, eSignal 10.6, eSignal 11, eSignal 12, e uh, Sierra Infinity with chart list, and TOS, a.k.a. Ameritrade with a scanner and a watch list. So I'm going to leave that up there really quickly. Here's your URL, champion setups dot com forward slash win what is what is tom's last name can i google his program you, you talking about rob instead of tom uh yeah uh rob hoffman r-o-b-h-o-f-f-m-a-n rob hoffman we had a joke one time we were going to think about changing our names and we were going to we we're going to call him rod hoffman and uh, I forget what my fake name where we were going to make up because we were making fun of some people that teach people how to trade online and use fake names. I'm like, why do people do that? I think your fake that? name's Herbert. Herbert? Is it Herbert? Uh, that's I think it. That's Herbert it. centers with a C. With and a C he's Rod Huffman. That's his Rod, That's right. It's Rod Huffman. Yes. Yep. What is the thickness of the cloud said we will go over? So, Ed, when I'm talking about that, when you're looking at that, I'll go back here. If you see, you see this thick cloud right here, see how thick that cloud is? You have a higher chance of a reversal if it'll get through that thick cloud thin clouds are easy to get through but if it gets through a thick cloud the reversal sticks a little better so that's what i was talking about right there all right there's your available platforms um easy indicator installation installation videos very easy installation guides installation help fantastic support to get you up and running really quick your chance to trade better now for only 997 championsetups.com forward slash win uh, no more screwing around with you trying to figure this stuff out by yourself. Rob and I have taken our best stuff, our foundational material, to get you up and running really quickly so you can quit losing money. All right? So here's here's what's included in the Champion Setups Boot Camp, Training Package 1, 16 hours of on-demand uh, classes, and then, uh, and then we got another 15 hours of the Ichimoku stuff. So that's all included. Questions. How long will I have access to this course? Don't worry. Everything is recorded and posted in the resource area. Will this work for day trading? Yes. Will this work for swing trading? Yes. Will this work if I have a day job? Yeah. You're just going to have to place the orders before you go to your job. Uh, will this work if I have a small account? Yes. Rob's got an entire module on exactly how to trade this stuff if you have a small account. Can you guarantee my success? Uh, hell no, we can't. Uh, I can't guarantee any, anything in life, and I damn sure can't guarantee anything in trading. Uh, uh, but what we can do is we can guarantee that we will do the most uh, thorough job we can to uh, teach the material and teach you how we trade and how we try to make money day in and day out. It's all online trading. It's all on demand. It's all ready to go so I can access the recordings for a long, long time. That's right, Benjamin, until either you die, I die, or Rob dies. Yes, exactly.
Uh, current, I am I am not currently on any of those platforms. Will there be an additional platform to be added if needed? Transfer another program? Any specific? Um, Linda, what platform do you use? If you don't have one of the platforms that we use currently, I would probably just switch over to Toss. It's easy to switch over to, and it's really inexpensive. I like TradeStation. Um, uh, Rob likes eSignal and TradeStation and Toss. Um, we all use a bunch of different platforms, um, but some platforms are closed, so you can't program for, for them. But all the ones that we, we did there, those were the most popular ones. We have used this profitably in stocks, options, futures, and the Forex markets. And once again, here is your order page, championsetups.com forward slash win. Your special price today ends at 1130, so in 28 minutes. It's nine ninety seven, okay? Nine ninety seven for the next twenty eight minutes. All right, so Rob and I are going to answer your questions. Do you have a payment plan? That's a good question, Greg. I don't know. Let me check the order page real quick. I don't know if there is or not. I don't think there is. Is there Rob? No, there's not. There's not. It's such a low price for all that value we gave. Um, yeah. You know, it's really it's a great question. Uh, let me just show you something if I can, uh, Greg. Uh, here, if you don't mind, I'll take the screen just for a moment. Grab um, it, man. Grab it. Because yeah, what you have, here's all this that, that comes with this. Um, you have all these different courses, these modules, you know, two hour on demand training with Rob, uh, live session with Hubert and HBO Cloud, module two here, live, uh, training session with Hubert, module three, teaching session with Hubert, Rob, module four, live teaching session with Hubert, Rob, module five, live training session with Hubert, Rod, module six. Live teaching session with Brian Hubert, Rob, Module 7. Live teaching session with Hubert, Module 8. Two-hour special uh, training with Rob, Module 9. Uh, CMFT Pro live trading event with Rob, Module 10. Uh, you know, and then, you know, the other indicator resources. Then Hubert, you got the issue of Cloud Secrets. You got the workshop here. You've got Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, Reviews 1 and 2. You've got uh, other little tools, how to use these with certain platforms. By the way, this is available for TradeStation 10 as as well um, that wasn't on there, uh, but she's available for TradeStation 10 as well. And then look at all these. Look at all these uh, bonus recorded sessions: May, May, June, July, October, November. Live uh, trading room recaps, technical Tuesdays, live trading room recaps. Each book bonus, you know, even the last months. Look at all these different things. So you got all the this different uh, knowledge and wealth of knowledge uh, here. So the the value, the cost proposition here is unbelievable, because especially when I just showed you a little bit ago how you know, I use these uh, you know, uh, strategies in the live trading competition here in um, uh, Europe here just a week ago, live real money trading against other competitors, and I won my 27th competition there, um, you know, and you know, here on Thursday and Friday, we showed you the same exact strategies, how to trade. If you were in my live trading room, you watch me execute short side trades, right? And, you know, we, we so we talked about this. There's a lot of value that, that comes with it. So, yeah, so... Uh, huge discount uh you know for such a valuable thing most people talk about trading we actually do it uh, so yes there's not a payment plan for something that we discounted several thousand dollars there uh it's, it's a way for you to go ahead and realize the value and grow with our uh, family here all right so got a couple questions here why are you guys selling it so cheaply if you sold one of these before at 997 i'm just paraphrasing the question that's a good question so um what we're trying to do here is give you guys a real good foundation to start with. And we hope that you guys have a really good buying experience with both myself and Rob. And then that will uh, open up the door for you potentially wanting to purchase some of our more advanced materials once you get through um, the uh, foundation that we use. So that's why we do it. We try to give people some really good deals and we want to have customers for the long haul, for a long-term relationship, not just the short term. So that's why we do things like that. It's a good question, though. If using Ninja Platform, can it be installed on more than one computer? Uh, yes, you should be fine on that. Just in case I missed the question, is there a live trading room with this? Well, we did live trading. That was um, it is now on demand for you. Uh, but Rob and I were uh, what we were thinking about throwing in there. Anybody that orders, we will do another a live Q and A session with some uh, live, with, with a little bit of live trading with you guys. We don't have any problems with that. I mean, we we tried we trade it trade live every day so it's not a big deal for us to do that how long do we have access to trading tuesdays uh i think in there you get access to it for like uh four weeks or something like that 
Uh, can I order by phone on this order? Not today. Uh, Rob and I have given uh, both of our teams off this weekend. Uh, so just a URL link, but you have the backing of both the Rob's companies and, uh, and and my companies. So we're both standing behind it. So if you need to call either one of them on, on Monday, we'll, we'll, our offices will be open and our team will be there to support you. But today you can only order through that link, champion setups.com forward slash win and only for the next eh, about 25 minutes. Yep. How much does it cost to switch from one platform to another to buy one platform? How, to, how there? I'm gonna let you answer that, Rob. I don't know how your team is handling that. If they want to switch from like Trade Station to eSignal, what's the cost involved? Um, at this point, we you know we found uh, most people are respectful and they don't abuse that and they're not changing every week. So we've actually just offered that complimentary. Cool. That's what we do too. So no charge if you're going to switch um, from something like a. Can we get uh, can we get a recording of this session? Trade Thirsty as a company will send out a recording of this after uh, all the speakers have been uh, done their presentation. I think me and Rob, we got about five more minutes here, and then and then we're ready to go. We're done. We're just trying to keep them on time here. All right, what other questions here? Um, okay. Oh, show futures example on the ES. Hold on, I'll grab. What you, Rob, you want to do it on the ES? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Give me just a second here. I'm going to keep answering questions as Rob shows it on the ES. Uh, how long do we have access to it? Life. It's a lifetime thing. Uh, I bought the hedge fund trader and indicators from TOP and Hewitt. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that. Does this work on... I've never heard of that platform. So, no, that doesn't work on that one. Uh-huh. You'd have to... Um, email support for that mm -hmm. Sharish I know I butchered your name All right, let me see here will this work on options yes you can uh, trade the underlying and also options with it it works on stocks options futures forex bonds currencies how much is this again? It is $997. And I will tell you from personal experience, I have sold one, two, three of those indicators personally ourselves for a minimum of $997 without two different uh, workshops with uh, me and Rob. And then also I've never, I have never resold the advanced Ichimoku course yet. Uh, I only done it in conjunction with my good buddy, Rob, and it's part of this package. And I, I haven't even sold it individually myself yet. Uh, I have your I have your Ichi Huber. Is it the same? No, it's it. Well, uh, yes, one part of it is the same, and then I did another advanced class on Ichi. So I did the the original uh, Ichimoku Cloud Charting Secrets, and then I did an advanced version of that. Yes. So the answer is yes and no. It, the f one part of the Ichi is the standard Ichi, and then I, I did a whole another advanced class because I was. Um, developing up an advanced class to resell and i've just never released it. i just kept it a part of this package so you can't even get it anywhere else that i know of you can't even get it from me because i don't even sell it and, and here as we we go to wrap up try to help Jeanette get back on track the yeah so what we'll do is we'll set up for all the people that buy today we'll set up a, a special uh follow-up class uh to go ahead and uh, do a little uh, live teaching live uh, training uh live trading if we set up during the actual uh you know trading hours there um and uh, so that'll just be a one one-off class as a follow-up to all the other you know videos of live trading that we did and training and everything else just uh, so, right. kind of one -off so you guys are going to get you guys are going to get all the on-demand and then me and rob are going to do another live q a and live trading with this um so you get two for the price of one there you go so not only do you get all the on-demand stuff we're going to do one session of live trading and live q a to follow up with you so you got a better deal than we initially planned to give you your deadline is 11 30 a.m today your price will be 997 there is your screenshot on rob's charts and that's the smpe mini on e-signal right there well i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna say uh, bye to you guys good luck hope it helps i'm gonna let rob take over and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Um, and, yeah, Hubert, they were asking for the link one more time. If you could post that up because I, I don't have that on here. I'm just showing live charts. So, gotcha. yeah, so this is yes.
Yes, if you guys do that, great. Um, the um, Sedil, it's uh, till 1130 Eastern Time, it's like 22 minutes. Uh, so here's the S&P. So here's the cloud. Um, and then you'll notice these little uh, magenta dots. That's the cloud uh, cell signals, right? Then here we had on top of that, the momentum shift with trend breakdown, momentum shift with trend, uh, you know, uh, the momentum shift breakdown here, momentum shift with trend, with trend breakdown, break, uh, and then you have the uh, hedge fund signals here at the green dots. So you see all that stuff that we were kind of showing before uh, here. So you see all the short re-entry short opportunities on the way down here. But this is really actually great that you mentioned it because now you can see the transitionary process. So now you start to see the cloud signals back to the buy side here and then green uh, taking place here, green dot, green bar, where we're looking to do, go long. Momentum shift with trend, where you're looking to do, go long. You know, momentum shift with trend, go long. Green dot, green bar, looking to go long. Break above the momentum shift breakout, go long. Break above a red dot and an uptrend, go long. So you can see the the uh, ongoing, um, uh, the whole transitionary cycle of breaking down the signals with the cloud uh, portion, all the different trading strategies I showed uh, earlier, kind of all kicking in here. Then to the upside, you can see the transition back to the buy side. So went ahead and um, <laughs> thanks, Reg. There it says I'm getting Cuban cigars for Rob. I, I, you know, Reg, I actually talked about that before. So please, uh, looking forward to that. Um, actually, a, a friend of mine is big aficionado. Uh, you know, I was telling him about you. So I'm looking forward to those. Um, so, uh, but yeah, does that make sense? So, uh, Gina, or sorry, uh, here I'm not sure who was asking about the S and P there, but uh, there's the S and P here, and so there's your transitionary process as well. So you can see the sell sides, all the different sell signals we taught you throughout this event, and then the buy side. Okay, so I'll leave it at that, um, and then hopefully the, you guys got the link back in there that we're asking for that. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. You know, after going ahead and winning two more, you know, international trading competitions here just over a week ago, real money, real trading, real results, you know, not just the hypothetical funny money stuff, you know, people that talk about trade, you know, real deal stuff here. And so I'm proud and honored to go ahead and I've done that, taking home two more of those international awards. And I'm really excited to go ahead and be here with you guys and uh, celebrating that and uh, trying to give you guys something very special here. So thank you very much for being here on your Saturday with us. Try to give you lots of value, and uh, we're going to turn it back over now to uh, Jeanette. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Take care, everybody.